Welcome to Ask a Latina. A recent study by Kelly Blue Book indicates that Latinas are at the same level or higher than Hispanic male and non-Hispanic females when it comes to big purchases like a vehicle. I had the opportunity to visit North American International Auto Show. So as we go through such a variety of cars and trucks under one roof, we will take a look at how these brands are going to interest Latina buyers. The North American International Auto Show has an amazing line of new cars and trucks. And like the Oscars, the Auto Show judges selected the best of 2018. This year's new redesigned Honda Accord that was unveiled was named the Car of the Year. IHS Automotive Polk marketing data states that Spanish-speaking or Hispanic culture identifying buyers are crucial to the automotive brand's success. Year after year, Honda, Ford, Chevrolet, Nissan, and Toyota have experienced larger percentages of sales growth among Hispanics, from 35 to 96 percent for both cars and trucks. The Volkswagen XC60 was named the Utility Car of the Year. The all-new Ford Lincoln Navigator won Truck of the Year. According to Kelly Blue Book, 40% of Latinas in the survey felt that they knew more about the car buying process and their significant other. So, which truck, full-size or mid-size, they decide to purchase will certainly be influenced by a Latina driver. I especially like the compartments in this vehicle and also where to place my purse or laptop. The dash is dominated by this 10 inch touchscreen with enormous easy to see use icons. It has a luxurious 30-way adjustable seats with a massager. In South America, Latinas are used to driving trucks to get around all terrains and different types of terrains, so dealers should not assume that Latinas will not buy trucks. Trucks were definitely a big hit at the auto show. The 2019 Dodge Ram has been redesigned inside and out. 57% of Latinas and Millennials find safety to be an important factor in selecting a vehicle. The Dodge Ram has several safety features like the rainy day braking, ready alert braking, a 360 degree surround view camera to see blind spots parallel park assist and more. Kelly Blue Book study states 60% of Latinas plays a very important factor in fuel efficiency. And Dodge Ram offers an engine that will stop the transmission when the car is at the stoplight. It too also offered a lot of good compartment space and a large uh, in, in, instrument panel or actually information panel there.
General Motors unveiled the all-new 2019 Chevrolet Silverado truck. It's 225 pounds lighter with optional engine that promotes fuel economy. The various colors of the auto show are amazing. Those reds on those trucks catch your eye. But when it came to the mid-sized trucks, the blue on this Chevrolet Colorado really caught my attention. Among mid-sized trucks after seven years absent in the U.S. except in South America, Ford unveiled the all-new 2019 Ford Ranger. Displayed in one of its showstopper colors, gold, like the large truck, it will offer several trim packages. Also supporting fuel economy, it will offer an eco-turbo engine. Another model returning for Ford is the 2019 Mustang Bullet. Making the 50th anniversary of the movie Bullet with Steve McQueen. Both old and new were on the stage with Steve McQueen's daughter, Molly, at the unveiling. The British Green Racing... A British racing green will certainly attract a woman driver. I, in fact, had that color when I owned my Buick Riata Sports Coupe several years back. It's a classic color. They even brought back the ball stick shift. Looks like a fun, sporty vehicle to drive. We even found that even Senator Debbie Stabenow liked it. The Auto Show is a family event with lots of hands-on experience. The Ford exhibit offered you the opportunity to build your own personal mini Lego race car driver. Selecting your own head, hair, and even helmet. And of course, build it to look like you. In this case, me. Ford also offered a virtual reality experience that looked like a, you were flying a 12-passenger drone over a virtual city. The objective being to understand the Ford Pass riding a share, the ride-share concept and how it will play a large part with the Ford's plan for autonomous vehicles. According to the Fortune Morning Consult poll, about 40% of those open to riding self-driving vehicles are young Hispanics compared to 25% of white and 29% of African American respondents. I know I'm excited that I not have to drive and be able to spend all that productive time on my laptop. Technology and vehicles are always advancing. The 2018 Audi Coupe TTRS has an infotainment integrated into the IP and you can write your own entry rather than selecting or pressing buttons on a screen. The 2018 Audi Q7 sedan offers the same instrument panel with the touchpad technology and you can open your doors from your smartphone. I was impressed with the beautiful leather seats. With the motion of your foot under the tailgate, you can open it. But what I personally liked was that the seats in the back could go down with a simple touch of the button. There were several amazing presentations of new models at the auto show. The unveiling of the Nissan X-Motion was my personal favorite. It was like a scene from James Bond. The X-Motion won the Eyes of Design Award for innovative use of color, graphics, and materials. The X-Motion is an introduction of what Nissan has planned for coming SUVs. The interior commemorates its Japanese culture with screen saver motions of the, uh, like a fish moving and a touchpad in the center console. 
This concept car also incorporates autonomous driving technology. Nissan also unveiled a 2018 electric car called LEAF. It has technologies like ProPilot and ePedal. With futuristic styling, Nissan calls it the intelligent mobility which includes autonomous drive, electrification, and connect connected car technologies. A zero emissions vehicle. The most beautiful butterflies I have seen in South America are the blue morpho. Well, this Lexus structural blue has captured that blue vibrant color. Lexus has personalized a fabricated a paint that's blue that shines even at night, similar to the blue morpho. Lexus concept car limitless in the popular gold showcases a future SUV with the back a bit wider than the front. And some nice features, like the door handle that is smooth until you press the button on your control fob to open it. The shape of this car is beautiful. Tons of cars at the Auto Show used to be more like this one in the Toyota display area. But most are now an intro to what may come into production sooner than you think. Here is a fun sports SUV concept car called FT46. FT stands for Future Toyota. It is made for the outdoor enthusiast. Headlights and speakers are removable. A place where you can dry your hair. Uh, a place for the IP for your smartphone. You can blow dry your hair, of course you saw that. Um, the back door has a compartment for keeping items hot or cold. The Chrysler Fiat Automotive unveiled its 2019 Jeep Cherokee. Like the Ram truck, they made it lighter for fuel economy. The technology on the engine also shuts down at stoplights to save on fuel. Other than the beautiful interior, the cargo also has been expanded for more space.
not far from the Dodge Charger display, there was an opportunity to have some hands-on race car driving. I had the opportunity to do this with my son, Antonio. And although I did try my best, Antonio was the winner. Well, maybe next time I can try a little more harder and maybe get a chance to do the new Indy car. Or, I think I'd prefer a Corvette. A red one is my signature color. So many choices to make. And what is the most important to Latinas are fuel economy and safety over technology. However, in these years auto show, I was pleased to see how much technology is being used to provide these two important factors. 56% of Latinas will do their homework online before buying a vehicle, whether a car or a truck. With the growing Hispanic purchasing power of over 1.7 trillion by 2019, both the auto industry and dealerships cannot afford to not pay attention to this consumer. This concludes our show. I hope to see you in another episode of Ask the Latina.